Hey guys, it's Ann popping on, you know, apronless for this month while we're traveling. And hopefully I have my camera set up right tonight so it won't be tipsy-turvy on you guys. I just wanted to pop on really quick though. This is really a live and a tip for people that maybe are just cooking for one or two. And so many recipes are big batch or you're tired of leftovers. So earlier this week, we made spaghetti. You know, super simple, easy recipe. But I only used a half of the pound of ground beef um, so that I could save the other half of the pound to do what I'm doing tonight, which is really easy mushroom meatballs. And these are um, the recipe for it, in case I talk fast or you forget. They are in my Second Harvest cookbook that I still have them available, yes. They're actually on page 65. And if you're not a mushroom lover, it's okay because it's only using, using a cream of mushroom sauce. So it's, you, you know, it's not loaded with mushrooms. I personally would load it, but it's not. Um, but it uses one of my favorite things from our pantry line, the crushed peppercorn and garlic. And the original recipe just calls for salt and pepper, but I found out about a couple years ago that using the crushed peppercorn and garlic instead really ups the game on this recipe. So what I've done uh, so far is not much, but uh, using what I have here, I have a half of a pound of ground beef. I have a chunk of white onion. Let's just chop that up really fine. Using the food chopper is by far the fastest way. And since we're gonna shape these into meatballs, you guys, remember you wanna make them really fine. So you want them really minced. So let's see, let me show you so you guys can see how finely minced they are. Just going to slide that in with the ground beef. And then the recipe calls for a mixture of cream of mushroom soup that you've diluted with some water and you use just part of it with the meatball mixture, kind of to make the sticking agent, I would say. So I'm just gonna use this same spoon, and this is my cream of mushroom soup with water. I'm just gonna take eh, like a spoon and a half of it. Then I'm going to take an egg. Then I'm going to take a quarter of a cup of panko crumbs. This is how I buy my panko crumbs. I don't know how you guys buy them. Um, then I'm going to open up this wonderful thing from our pantry line. In fact, you guys, our pantry line's huge and there's some favorites in there. So if you're watching live on my regular timeline, I've talked about our pantry a lot because if you have the right seasonings and spices, then cooking's not bland and it's not boring. Um, but I brought some of my favorites absolutely with us because I, why would I cook without them? So I brought crushed peppercorn and garlic. I brought the gua guacamole mix. I brought the pancake and waffle mix. I brought the vanilla, which is a seasonal product. Um, I brought the dill, the Italian, the seasoning salt. Those are really just a huge amount of my favorites. So I'm just gonna take a couple teaspoons of this crushed peppercorn and garlic. And remember, there's no measuring spoons in this place, so I'm, I'm making do. Uh, why did I bring seasonings and not more tools or my cookbook, I'm not sure. But then you just mix up all this together to make your meatball uh, mixture. And you're probably wondering what I'm gonna do with the rest of that cream and mushroom soup mixture. So once I have the meatballs uh, made and shaped into meatballs, then put them in your skillet and uh, brown them. So turn them so that all the sides get kind of browned most of the way cooked through. Then you're going to pour the rest of this sauce over it, cover it, and then let it simmer on the stove for 15 or 20 minutes. And then you guys, you can serve this so many ways. It's delicious over brown rice with broccoli on the side. Also really great over riced cauliflower or mashed potatoes or pasta. There's just so many ways. And I know um, some people are meatball people and you enjoy meatballs and some people aren't. Um, but one of the things I wished I'd brought with is the medium stainless steel scoop because the medium scoop to me is the perfect size of a meatball that is served like this. So if you like to make cookies and you have some of our scoops, we have four sizes of those now. The medium one is the size I like to do meatballs like this. Some people like a bigger one, so they use the large, um, total personal preference. Wish I had it, but nope, when I get off live, I'm gonna have to get my good old hands in here and really blend it and then I'll shape them myself. Maybe I'll show you a picture when I'm done. 
but I'm sorry for all of you back home or in the Midwest with the next round of big snowstorms coming. So I'm curious, in the comments below, did you run out to the grocery today? What did you stock up on because you know you're gonna have to do some cooking over the next few days? Or do you have kids home? And do you challenge them to do some of the cooking? It's probably one of my favorite things I did when our kids were about middle school age was started putting them in charge of lunch for whoever was there on summer breaks. Whether it was just the two of them or if they had six friends over, they had to make enough for everybody that was there. So that's a great thing. So challenge your kids to do some of the cooking if you do get a blizzard over the next two or three days. Happy having dinner tonight. Hope you enjoy it. And mushroom meatballs for the win here. See you guys soon.